Oh, welcome back guys to another episode of Doom 3 Gameplay, part 6 tonight. Now, part 6 was supposed to be out by now. If you've uh, actually peeped at my community posts on YouTube, you will know that I recorded everything last night. I went all the way into the monorail chapter. Like, I went an hour and it, like an hour and ten minutes in, and something was wrong with my mic in the recording. I don't know what it was. I don't know why it's not happening now, but I fixed it. And it was completely unusable. Um, to the extent where, like, my voice was all... It was choppy, it was skipping, and it was, like, two semitones deeper somehow. I don't exactly know how the hell any of that happened, considering uh, that's a very odd issue to have, but yeah, it happened, and it sucked a lot, because I had a really tough decision. I either, I had the choice of either, let's say I just re-record everything, or I skip that part in the gameplay, or you know, I decided to just bend the series, and you know, I didn't want to do any of those things. Because, you know, you give your first reaction to something, well, not first, but, you know, you give your first in a long time reaction to something, and you do it again, it's not going to be as genuine, you know? And I was just really bummed about that. But, I've slept on it, and, uh, people who voted in the poll and I agree that the only option is for me to re-record it, and that's what I'm going to do. I originally was just going to start from the nearest chapter because there's uh, something called I fucking had 30 minutes of gameplay before I even got to the point where I started last night because the my auto saves got I mean my uh, quick saves got overridden obviously so I had to start from the nearest auto save but I decided to just go ahead turn god mode on and power through the parts until I made it to the beginning of the last video so that's what I did so you're gonna get a full gameplay thing from me I'm not gonna skip any parts so yeah, here we go. We're just gonna hop right back in here. I gotta say though, that shit sucked. It's like, you know, you're painting something and then you lose the last hours of work or you know, you're you're on a run and suddenly BAM, you're all flabby again. You know, it's just no fun having to redo shit. But it's not too big of a deal. I mean, I like this game, so it's not too big of a deal to replay parts of it. Just, ah, I wish I knew what caused it, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, Amazon.com slash SSD, am I right? No. I do need to upgrade to an SSD soon. I got one, I think I mentioned this in my last video, but I have like three hard drives and two SSDs, and all my games are on the hard drives, so. Alright. I believe the code for the storage locker is on one of these, so let's. Those damn chainsaws. Oh, son of a bitch. I don't think I picked it up. Oh, well, there's nothing useful in here that I can remember. It's not, I guess, the BFG one. That's fine. Okay, that's locked. Did I forget to pick my PDA in here? What's going on? Oh, yeah, I have to activate the sentry. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, I didn't get the goodies in here. I got it last time, but I must have just missed it. But then again, I wasn't really trying to enjoy the gameplay, of course. I had already played it, so... I was just doing the rounds. But, oh! Let me just, before I forget... Whew, get that shit off. I don't want to play with that. That wouldn't be fair. Okay. Uh, back in game. And, uh, yeah. We're just gonna do our best to look on the bright side and... Be glad that I still had a save that was near where I left off, at least. Like, if this was Half-Life Gold Source, I would be fucked. Because Gold Source, at least uh, all the non-source ports... You know what those motherfuckers do? They give you, like, four autosaves, and they stop. They just start overriding it. And that's happened to be with Half-Life before. Oh! Where I'll basically... I'll do a fuck ton of work, I'll get halfway through the game, and then I'll soft lock myself. And I'll have to turn on a uh, no clipping or something to get out of it because I don't have an auto save available. Alright, got my little buddy here, and we're not going to want to let him die. 
I believe he can die too, so I gotta be careful. Anyone else? Okay. So that's where I came from. Whoa! Oh, it's these fuckers. You know, say what you want about the shotgun. It is obnoxious how bad the spread is. But if you're close to something, you can body a fucking cackle demon in like two shots. How many shots did the cackle demon take to be offed in the original Doom? I'm guessing like six or seven just off the top of my head. I don't know if it's a fair trade off, but hey, it's something to compensate for. Oh, ah! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy shit! Holy shit! This game keeps you on your fucking toes, and I was just about to say how fucking savage these cackle demons are in Doom 3. The Doom 1 cackle demons? They ain't shit. <laughs> I mean, they're the, it's the best design, but they're little lovable red balls. These guys are freaky looking. And they'll rush up on you, they'll spawn in, and immediately belch out a fireball at you without the slightest warning. Yeah, see that? He just opens his mouth. There's no wind-up, no nothing. Okay. It reminds me a lot of the Doom 4 and Doom Eternal Cackle Demons. Maybe not quite as dangerous, but they did well. I was impressed. Alright. So, it looks like Mr. Sentry Bot has had enough of this. Alright. That's alright, buddy. You did your job. You got me this far. Now you can rest. I'm not gonna whack you with a flash. Oh, come on. So, oh yeah, that's right. I can't go to maintenance yet. So let's go to satellite control, and I believe that is where I can make the choice. Hey, computer system shows Swan and Campbell are still in the area. Watch out for them. And get that transmission sent. Oh, I wonder if they're in like the most obvious spot for them to be, like the satellite control, where they don't want people to use it. Let's find out. This is a pretty good view. Like, I gotta say, in the way the glass warps with Sigmod, it just looks nice. Okay. Here we are. This is where I have to make my decision. Okay. Manual uplink established. Marine, oh, here he is. You hear me? Back off from that console. Do not call for reinforcements. We don't know what the hell is going on here. And until we do, this area remains under UAC control. Cancel that transmission. Satellite connection established. Distress call to orbital fleet. Reinforcements required immediately. Hostile force engaged. Loss of primary and secondary military units. Extended civilian casual t casualties. Research technology compromised. Require full fleet engagement. Standard personnel ground advance. No orbital bombardment. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck is orbital bombardment? Because this sounds like that's what we need, dude. We need someone to just come out here and just nuke Mars. Just fucking send it. It's gone. The demons can spawn into space all they want, but I don't think they're going to get anywhere. Alright, so last time I transmitted it, uh, spice things up, let's not this time. Not that it matters either way, but yeah, fuck you, fuck you, uh, Sarge. You don't get to tell me what to do. Transmission terminated. Yeah, that's right. We did the right thing. Thank you, we Adam know boy. What's happening here, we need to keep ourselves sealed off from everyone else. The monorail entrance looks clear. Meet up with us there. We need to reach the Delta Complex and stop this. Okay. Green, you have just <laughs> violated a direct order. Oh, he's Get mad. Get your ass back to that console and send that transmission. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do, Sarge? You gonna stuff me into my locker? You gonna take my lunch money? Yeah, sorry, bro. I don't take orders from bitches. And that's what you are. You're a certified bitch. This is your last chance to Oh. <laughs> oh, he's mad. And he sounds like he's kind of starting to get corrupted by the demons. Alright, yeah, you know what? Let's change it. Let's, uh, send this order. 
psych. <laughs> I can just see this dude fuming at his security cameras. Like, <sighs> nothing he could do though. I mean, he could have been the guy coming down here and doing it with his own fat ass, but he won't. He wants to send me to do it. I'm like the only guy doing shit here. All right, maintenance. Now that we have the card, we can go down there. You know, I do like this gameplay element here where you can decide to either send it or don't send it. It's actually one of the first times I played like a game when I was like a kid. It was the first big decision that I, I had a huge dilemma with because I'm like, I wanted to please Sarge because, you know, I didn't know anything about him until, because uh, it was my first playthrough. I wanted to do what he asked, but then Swan came on and he made a good point. And I'm just like, you know what? Maybe, I didn't think Sarge was evil, but I'm like, he's misguided, he doesn't know. But then I'm like, you know what, I should do it. Because, uh, I, well, I was a kid, and I'm like, maybe I'll get reinforcements so I get to fight along people. <coughs> Not recognizing the hopelessness of that. But, whoa! Fucker! But, uh, yeah, it's, it's really good gameplay design. When you, you're presented with two choices, both seem like a reasonable option, both have their pros and cons, and uh, one finds you, it puts you between two people whom one of them which you respect, and you don't want to upset, especially like, he tells you two times, he tries to make you go back there, so if you, if you made the wrong decision, you're going to be second, if you chose not to send it, you're going to be second guessing yourself the whole time, like, did I do the right thing? Like, did I fuck everyone? You don't want to face the wrath of him, you know? Uh, so I think that's really good gameplay design right there. Team 3's got pretty good gameplay, I've always thought. Might be a controversial statement, I don't know. I don't know what people's views of Doom 3 are these days. There's armor over there. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Damn it! Holy shit! How come he can hit me so well, but I can't hit him? This guy's a little cheating fast. Oh, there's another one over here. Ow! Jesus. Okay, so I can't let him get one shot on me. Luckily, I just saved, so... Let's go back and load that. Check the time. 8.36. Alright, I got some time. I do gotta hop off around just before 9, though, because I still gotta shower and make my food and then head to work. Yes, I got a third shift tonight. Alright, let's just avoid this guy entirely. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he's a wonder if he's dead. Oh, a shotgun. That's nice. I wonder where that came from. Just a random shotgun sitting on the ground. This place is weird. Okay. Got my health back up. Got some shells. We are doing good. And uh, I'm gonna have some water. Yes, my uh, I work third shift, but not in the traditional way. My main shift is actually second shift. I have a very weird schedule. Uh, so Monday through Thursday, I work second shift. And I, you know, I just, I'm in a guardhouse and I open arm gates and shit and, you know, just operate it. And I'm like the, I'm the person people go to for help, you know, and I make temp badges, truck delivery passes, etc. But, um, for some reason, I get Friday off, then Saturday, I have third shift into Sunday morning. So yes, I work Christmas Eve. I am getting overtime for that, so we're going to be going from 18 to like 20 something an hour. I don't, I don't do the math on that, but it's a lot because yeah, overtime's time and a half, and we got time and a half when it's 18 an hour. It's quite a bit, so I'm not too, not too upset about it. Uh, well, I shouldn't say overtime; it's actually holiday pay. Um, but yeah, and then Saturday when I do that third shift, the reason why I did that. Um, is because, so I used to work Monday through Friday, just 2 to 10, my normal, my, uh, what I would call normal shift. Where do I go? Okay, I think I go, no, that's the elevator. I'm confused. I thought that, hmm. Well, I must have to go to communications because that's where the monorail entrance is, so. Alright. But, uh, what was I saying? Then I got- I lost that shift because a new person got into the guardhouse and they started taking some of my hours. So I only had 32 hours a week and that was not cutting it. Because I need a little bit more bread than that, you know, because I got bills. So I was talking to my manager seeing if I could find a way around it. And they put me on first shift on Saturday, which is a pain in the ass because 
you get contractors coming in here without uh contractors coming in that their badges are disabled and i gotta fix that for them and i get like six or seven a morning first shift is entirely different than second shift i hated it and also there's the fact that that's not my sleep schedule i'm not supposed to be waking up at like 5 a.m one day out of the week that that screwed with me like that was really messing with my mental health and sleep schedule it got to the point where and i am not exaggerating in the slightest i would not sleep my first shift nights i would not sleep i would just literally lie in bed i try but my brain wouldn't be able to let me because i go to bed at like uh let's say i try to start sleeping at 12 and i'm like my brain's like you fucking asshole i'm supposed to be going to bed at three that's your normal bedtime so stay up till three and i'd just be lying down thinking oh my god oh my god oh my god if i don't go to sleep if i go to sleep now i can get three hours and 52 minutes of sleep and i'll be okay but i need to do that you know and i wouldn't be able to sleep because of all the pressure and anxiety so they switched me to third and now i can go to bed at 7 a.m instead of going to bed at like uh after I got out of first shift. So hey, it's a weird ass schedule. Woo! Ah! Oh, man, I got so I got so invested in talking about my work schedule that I forgot about Betruger's fucking evil trick. Fucker. Ah! Okay. Alright. Cycle, cycle. I'm running out of oxygen, man. Anything back here? No? Okay. It's me. I thought I heard a monster out there too, so... Okay. But yeah. It's a weird schedule, but... I... I prefer it to what I was doing. It's actually not as bad as it sounds. Whoa! Damn it! Fucking bull demon. Yeah, that's right. I said bull demon. And nothing you say is gonna stop me. Oh, fucking maggot. Yeah, like, bull demons, pinkies, demons, it's all the same thing. Bull demon is, is what they were called in Doom 2 RPG, so... I like that name. It sounds cool. Oh, you wanna fuck around? Alright, let's do it. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Okay. <laughs> no. Okay, you don't get it. That's the second time I got jump scared by this specific situation. It's these fucking maggots, man. These fucking maggots. Ah, oh, this happened last night when I was recording it too. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. Uh, and uh, I will say what I said last night. The fucking maggots are the most evil out of all the creatures in this game. Because they're fast, they're grotesque, and they have this fucking disturbing creepy ass limp that just makes them look demented so it's very easy for them to jump scare you <laughs> which just happened and uh the revenant not so much of a jump scare but these guys are dangerous so let's go ahead and take care of them real fast oh shit ah! i think it's cool how you can shoot the rockets but they're not very easy to shoot fuck there's another one Am I out? Damn, maybe I should have made sure I got the security codes. Alright. He's only shooting one rocket. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, that's right, fucker. I love the translucent skin. Apparently, that was like a render error, according to the Masters of Doom book. Or not Masters of Doom. That's the... That's like the biography of Doom. What is it? The Making of Doom 3. That's it. That book. That was a good book. I like that. Hey, there we go. We got some more cells. And a dancing plasma rifle. Cool. That's good because the plasma rifle is the best defense for the Revenant. Because each projectile is super wide, so it's easier to hit those missiles that are coming towards you. Oh! Booyah, boy. Fuck you doing, boy? Oh, excuse me. Okay. Quick saving. Okay. So, 
We haven't encountered the toxic goo yet, but it looks like I'm beginning to see the beginnings of it. Uh. Just sitting in there waiting for me, fucker. Okay, so that's open now. Interesting. What the hell? Like, that was weird. Why did he laugh when that came down? Like, some demented- Ah! Damn, man. He laughed when that door was trying to open, almost like his Satan power causing it. Probably was. Okay. This creepy ass area. Jeez, I still can't believe that jump scare got me twice. Christ, man. <laughs> I got scared by Doom 3 twice. Like, that's a. Respect for that, man. Doom 3 actually can be really scary. God damn, you guys are fucking creepy. Like, it's not really that scary of a game. Probably because everyone's played it, like, at least twice. But, you know, it's it's got a really, really thick atmosphere. And it does put you on edge. And especially when you're playing on Ultra Violence, it's like you just cannot rest. Like, you can't fucking rest, you can't look away, you just gotta deadpan this fucking game, you gotta concentrate, because it will fuck you up. Okay. Oh. What the fuck, man? Come on, that didn't kill him? Oh, that killed you, you little bastard. You know, this game really makes me want to play Doom 4 and Doom Eternal again. I think I'm going to play those on the channel. Uh, I think when I actually started this gameplay, it was with the intention of playing Doom 4 right after it and Eternal. Uh, I don't know if I want to do Resurrection of Evil directly after this. Ah! Yeah, how you like that door lip, asshole? Jesus. Uh, I might play Resurrection of Evil. I don't know if it'll be directly after, though. Oh! Oh, here, I'll just do what I did last time. What the fuck? That really took away some of my health. With these, like, mushroom cloud-sized grenades. Damn it! Ah! These things are too fucking fast! Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I've never played Doom 3 like this, okay? You know, when I was a kid, I only played Doom, including the classic games and Doom 3, on, like, the easiest difficulty, because, you know, I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> so, it was kind of like a cakewalk compared to this. I've never played Doom 3 on Ultra Violence, where, like, the slightest mistake can completely fuck you. Like, if you- you have to be checking your fucking back constantly. You gotta look around, you just gotta be careful. Like, this game is punishing. Hello? Okay, this just got about- I'm a headshot at that. Like, this game makes you paranoid to focus on a monster. Because you're worried another one's creeping up on you. Like, you fucker. See, there's another one. Ah! Are you fucking kidding me? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I didn't even see him. That's my L. I didn't... Wow. The fucking basic zombie got one on me. And, uh, I don't remember how much health I had, but I'm pretty sure he took off all 17 of my health. I thought I had something in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not getting close to you again. Dickass. Okay, Hero Revenant. Let's handle him with grace. 
I can't take a single missile to the head. Whoa. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. He's right behind me. Oh, that could have ended very differently had I not been vigilant. <sighs> Tense ass game. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab my armor. Oh, I don't even need it. This game makes you paranoid of every sound. That's right, fucker. Alright. Oh! I hate that attack! God damn it! I heard him so I knew he was coming, but I didn't expect him to do that. Ah! <sighs> Fucking maggots. Ah! Dickhead! Alright, I need to get up there because it's a health station. That is my number one priority right now. Warning. Whoa. Low control system failure. Toxins identified. Execute cleanup procedure. Ugh. I like I love the texture of this though. Like look at that. It's glowing. It's got like a couple layers to it. So much better than classic doing. Oh yeah! Your little sneak attack didn't work on me this time, did it? Jesus. Oh shit, am I stuck? Okay, cool. That worried me for a second. Health. Give. Hello? What? Come on, man. I know the shotgun spread is bad, but missing barrels that are like three feet in front of me bad? Damn it! God! Son of a bitch! Ah, oh, you were not up here a second ago. Okay. Go to the health. Alright. PDA. Oh. Alright, so I'm up here now. And I'm gonna have to wrap this up shortly. I'm gonna try to see if I can make it to the next checkpoint though. Uh, this is actually where I got stuck last. Oh, fuck. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, you thought, didn't you? Yeah, well, I'm getting better at dodging. Yeah, I couldn't find that somehow. Okay, pump station shut down, so now I can go back to. Oh, damn. Ow wherever that was, and access the area I couldn't be for. Okay. You know the sp It's always these fuckers. I've never gotten jump scared by a single thing in this game other than the maggots. That rocked me. I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh well. Jesus. Okay, where the hell is this area with the toxic goo? In here? I believe so. Ah! Wait, no it's not. Are you... Well, I'm seeing monsters, so I'm definitely going the right way. Alright. And that's where I gotta get to. You know, what kind of toxic goo can just be... It just disappeared. Like, I thought I turned the pump system off? Maybe I turned it on, I don't remember. But like, did it just get sucked through the vents? Who the hell knows? Oh, another point I made last night that I need to make to y'all tonight. Look at my fucking headphones. Look at this fake leather, it's just coming off it. Like, it's a fucking crime scene. Ugh, I was gonna buy new headphone ear cups, but I don't know what good that'll do. Uh, if, if it's also the top and then look my chair is doing it too so around my apartment you'll just find here here's one right now it's little pieces of this this shit 
So I'm in the market for a new chair. I'm not gonna buy a fucking gaming chair again. Where the fuck con that chair? There's actually a good video about that on YouTube. I don't remember the name of it or anything, but about how gaming chairs are scams and they all are from like this one Chinese company. Just like make slight alterations of like branding and <laughs> like dumb shit, and then they start they sell them for like 500 bucks, and they're the most uncomfortable shit things ever. Like the cushion on this chair. It's like you can feel the bone in it. You can feel the freaking uh, plastic or metal pieces that are underneath it. It's gotten squashed. I've had this for like four years, to be fair. Huh? But it shouldn't be this bad. Ah! Oh, fuck, it's these dudes. Let's just fill them up with that and whip out the shoddy. Yeah, that's my new tactic. Bullets and shoddy. Yeah, that just stopped him dead in his tracks. Although I do prefer the term Bull Demon. It's my personal preference. I think Pinky's a good name for him. That's what they should have called him originally. I'm not quite sure, but they just went for Demon. Like, yeah, he's a demon. He's from hell. So are the rest of them. Oh, this part. This part again. Alright, cool. You know what, though? Ah! Yes! Yeah, the Doom 3 thing. Where they spawn monsters and then put more behind you. Fuck you. Fuck you for that. That's some... Oh. Come on. Oh! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I'm getting too cocky. Because I'm trying to get to the end. Anyone else? Anyone just like... Are you sure you didn't spawn one like 10 rooms back to just like slowly sneak up on me then kill me when I'm least expecting it? No? That's not very Doom 3 of you. No? Anything? Okay. I right, see you. See you. Just. God, asshole. I don't like those things. They make. Oh, they give me the. Like, genuine creep crawlies. Like. I'm not as freaked out by them as I was, uh. On, like, episode 3. I was kind of jumping out of my skin at them then, but. I see you, motherfucker! You think you're hiding from me? Let's just send him a- Oh, he didn't like that, but you're still not gonna do anything about it? Okay. Well, let me just send you a quick present, buddy. Merry Christmas. Oh. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I have like 30 fucking nine of these. I can't even throw it that far. Ah! God damn it! That was an evil fucking trap. That was an evil fucking trap, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what it meant. I was meant to do. I was supposed to go in here and go, ha Revenant, let's kill his ass. Start shooting at him. And then when I go back, they're tr blocking me in, so I get tag-teamed by these little fuckers. And I'm getting bombarded with missiles while I'm trying to kill the little trites attacking me. It's an evil, evil fucking trap, and honestly, id Software should repent for their sins for doing this shit. Oh, come on. Damn. Okay, so I just took him out without any issue. Oh! Ugh. Asshole. Okay. Oh! I'm not gonna waste on you, bitch. Oh my god! Just die already! Fuck! Alright. I think after this airlock, I'm close to the end. I'm gonna go through this airlock, then we're gonna have to end the episode. But hey, I'm, I'm, I feel good now that I finally got this out of the way, and I'm not like... It's not dangling in front of me as something I have to do. Let's use the rocket launcher to our advantage. Okay, he's dead. Oh, okay. We're, we're gonna have to hurry. Oxygen goes down so fast. Okay. I don't like these outside areas, but you can't... You gotta admit, it looks good. Like, open. Open. Huh. 
Skip, skip, skip. Goodbye, bitch. <laughs> okay, guys. That was fun. I'm still a whole chapter behind where I left off at last time, but I'm going to have to end it for now. I'm sure you'll understand. Hey, at least I started from where I was supposed to instead of cheaping out on you guys. You know how we do it here. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys have been staying safe during the blizzard. It's uh, not as terrible today as it was yesterday, but like with the wind and wind chill, but it's actually snowing harder, so kind of a crapshoot either way. But I'm going to go ahead and close this off and uh, pop it into DaVinci Resolve and export it and hopefully have this up by Sunday. So appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'm going to head out now. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good night.